Prior to beginning treatment for annual bluegrass weevils, um, we did not know what we were up against. It was a in, new insect to us. Uh, we got some help from people at NC State. Um, another superintendent close by had had some experience with them. And it wasn't until we actually saw them moving around on the ground that we realized we're dealing with an insect as opposed to a pathogen. So once we got on the program with the acelloprin, we've been able to monitor on a weekly basis. We go to the same spots where historically we've seen damage, monitor those areas. As long as we are in single digits, low teens, we're not ever seeing any damage to the turf. Where we have seen damage to the turf, uh, we've had counts as high as mid-70s. What we do for us, our comfort level is the low 20s. If we see them then and we haven't treated, that's when we'll treat. We've been able to keep up with the population by monitoring weekly, and we base our treatments off those numbers. The acelloprin was able to check up, depending on the instar stage, uh, the life cycle of the weevil, but it was ultimately effective between that and the scimitar uh, for us to get control and never see any visible damage. Again, following the program, it, it's right there. If we've done scimitar, I know that acelloprin's gonna be next. I know that parents may follow that. I know that Provant may follow that, but it, it's, all right there and makes it easy. So I do follow different weevil blogs, particularly uh, Dr. Terry Belisson, since she is dealing primarily with our area. It helps me uh, obviously to know what's going on in our surrounding area. Monitoring is the single biggest and most effective thing that we do, but it's great to see what uh, other people either in the area or not in the area, but in a similar growing season situation are up against.